Hello friends, this is a 2011 BMW X5, the E70, and it has uh, an engine malfunction message, and the code is P13C9, that's P13Charlie9. I'm going to show you the most common cause for this code and how we're going to fix it. Okay, so P13 Charlie 9 is a Vanos exhaust control fault. Your camshaft is stuck. So the camshafts, the Vanos, the variators work on hydraulic oil pressure. So it needs the right oil pressure to do its job. You could actually have a solenoid that activates uh, the oil passages. It changes which passage it goes to. That could be bad. But I don't think that is the case here. Uh, with this P13 Charlie 9 code, uh, you will get in your dash, you'll see a half engine looking picture and on your screen, your multifunction display, uh, you'll get this uh, message as well. So, uh, a common cause of this is an oil filter housing. So, let me pull this out and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, just to give myself a little bit more room, I'm going to take this engine cover off. I'm going to pop it off of its little mounts underneath there, pull this out, and off to the side. Some people use the claw type tool on this thing. I use just a medium sized band wrench, works just fine. So put this on here, get this guy off. Okay, let's take a look at this. You'll see that the insert of this is missing. Okay, and the oil filter stayed in the housing. The oil filter should come out with this cap. All right, let me show you a new cap. This is a new cap. You can see how it has this oil o-ring seal here and this cage inside here the oil filter should uh, slide on over to this and this cage helps keep the form of the oil filter and this piece right here very important on the end uh, helps direct oil pressure to the right places including the vano system okay so here was the old one it is missing its cage here on the left here on the right, this one's got its cage here, right? I'm going to just redo this. I'm going to take that oil filter out, toss it. We're going to put a new oil filter on. Here is the new oil filter and an actual BMW one. That is the part number right there. I'll put a link to these in the description below. I'll also put a link to uh, this part in the description below. The new oil filter comes with a uh, new O-ring. Uh, for the actual outside of the oil filter housing cap uh, as well as a new uh, o-ring for the uh, tip of the cage here and a new crush washer for your oil drain plug uh, we don't need that this oil was just changed and i'll uh, get to that story here in a minute so let's uh let's get this new filter on here see how it goes right over the cage nice and friction fit on there right stays with the oil filter cap Okay, let's get this oil filter out. Yummy. I typically like to take the uh, box of the new filter, just put the old one in there and get it out of here. Okay, there is a little bit of oil in here. I'm gonna take a little bit of this oil and just uh, put it around that O-ring there. Put it around this outer O-ring here for the filter housing cap. We're going to set this in here, just like so, and we'll tighten her back down. Alright, that is done. Get the engine cover back on. Looks like we're, uh, acoustic cover's drooping down a little bit and uh, missing a little bit of a clip under there, but oh well this back on like so all right now i'm going to turn the ignition on and clear the code and after the code is cleared i'm going to fire this thing up all right the code was cleared and obviously i fired it up it's been running for almost a minute now let's go in the let's go in the driver's seat and check it out all right here we are the half engine warning is gone in the instrument cluster here and we no longer have a warning message on our multi function information display here. 
what an easy fix. All right, here's an epilogue, so to speak. I bought this car uh, at auction. Previous owner said that the uh, dealership had told him that the turbo needs to be replaced. Now, when you get that P13 Charlie 9 code, uh, it does disable the turbo because it senses the problem with the variable valve time. So it says, don't boost, let's just limp this thing home you know, under normal aspir uh, natural aspiration. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I think that the, uh, the previous owner was wronged in two ways. One, I just checked the oil sticker and it looks like the oil change was pretty much just done on this vehicle. So, highly likely, the oil change place uh, the center cage of this housing uh, came off. They did not realize it and threw it away with the filter. The new filter in, didn't realize it had that center cage. That's, that's problem number one. Problem number two, you take this thing to a dealership and they just immediately tell you that you need a new turbo versus checking something that simple. Anyway, this is fixed. The engine is fixed. I'm going to take this thing out for a drive. Thanks for watching. See you next time.